फर्स्ट कैनेडा इज अ कंट्री इन द नॉर्थ अमेरिका ओके अबीर वांट्स टू से समथिंग या माय आंट लिव्स देयर ओह वाओ दैट्स ग्रेट माय ब्रदर लिव्स इन टोरंटो ओके 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 दैट्स ग्रेट प्रकर यस अरान मैम माय बुआ आल्सो स्टेज ओवर देयर अटलांटिक to the pacific here that's a large area isn't it yes okay and northward into the arctic ocean here see this okay here is the arctic ocean here is the pacific ocean and here is the atlantic ocean okay so this covers 9.98 million square kilometers it's a huge area i'm making it the world's second largest country by total area okay its southern and western border with the united states stretching 8891 kilometers is the world's longest by national land border i know that's a lot of numbers so we'll see it once again in short so it is extending from where to where from Atlantic Ocean to Pacific Ocean and northwards towards the Arctic Ocean. Okay, these three things are clear. It covers an area of how much? Nine point nine eight million square kilometers, making it the world's second largest country. Fine. And what else did we see? So its southern and western border with the United States, stretching eight thousand eight hundred ninety one kilometers, is the world's longest by national. land border fine now so as we have already seen 9.985 million square kilometers or kilometers square is the land area of canada okay now the national flag of canada okay so this is simply referred to as the canadian flag or maybe unofficially you can call it the maple leaf which consists of a red field with a white square at its center in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 in the middle of which is featured a stylized red 11 pointed maple leaf charged in the center that's a long statement no problem we'll cut it short okay so you can see here what is visible here there is a red field right here and here is a red field with a white square in the middle fine now this is in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 clear now after this a stylized red 11 pointed maple leaf charged in the center so this is an 11 pointed maple leaf in the center of the flag all right hi rohita how are you fine mom good good okay so it is the first flag to have been adopted by both houses of the parliament so this was the first flag which was which was adopted by both the houses of the parliament fine and officially proclaimed by the canadian monarch as the country's official national flag so both the parliamentary houses adopted it officially and then it was officially proclaimed as the national flag of canada okay then the flag has become the predominant and the most recognizable national symbol of canada so wherever you go in canada or if you see that in movies or in some videos you will see this somewhere or the other you will see the flag somewhere or the other representing canada okay now let's see the history of canada so how was it discovered we'll see that first when europeans explored canada they found all regions occupied by the native people whom they called the indians 
okay so when it was explored by the europeans it was was mainly you know inhabited by the native people, indians because the first explorers thought they had reached the east indies so what did they think that they reached the east indies so they called those people the indians okay the native people lived off the land some by hunting and gathering others by raising crops so what were the main occupations there that time of the native people there hunting and gathering and also raising of crops or you can call it agriculture okay how old is canada now the canada that we know today is a relatively recent construction it's not very old you can say so it's just less than 65 million years old not more than that but it is composed of fragments of crust that are as old as 4 billion years so the crust fragments which it has they are as old as 4 billion years okay the canada which we know now is just 65 it was born you can say it was born just 65 million years ago okay the time yes the the dinosaurs were killed that time this thing formed yes very good abir not okay. necessary to be exactly it could happen in that any one year period yeah maybe i like near about that or yeah, exactly no, no. yeah near about yeah i'm so sorry for that yeah so the name canada likely comes from the huron iroqua word canada okay so how was it derived it was derived from the huron iroqua word canada which meant a village or a settlement okay so in 1535 two aboriginal youths like the natives who lived there okay the aboriginal youths told the french explorer jacques cartier about the route to canada you have to just you know memorize the names here you don't have to understand much but what did what actually happened there two aboriginal youths they told a french explorer named jacques cartier about the route about the way to reach canada okay they were actually referring to the village of stadacona the site of the present day city of quebec so the site of the present day city quebec is a beautiful city there in canada so there is a site there the village of stadacona okay so that is in the present day situated in the city of quebec all right canada became a country the dominion of canada in 1867 so when did it officially become a country the dominion of canada in 1867 before that 18. what happened yes yes so before that the british north america was made up of a few provinces okay provinces are somewhat like the states in a country okay somewhat similar to the states or you can call it an administrative division fine so british north america was made up of a few provinces the vast area of rupert's land which was privately owned by the hudson's bay company and the north western territory so it became a country officially in 1867 before that what was it the british north america was made up of a few provinces the vast area of rupert's land which was privately owned by the hudson's bay company and the north western territory all right now when is the independence day for canada when is the happy canada day it's on 1st july okay oh it just passed a while yes it just passed recently okay and what is the capital of canada it's ottawa ottawa yeah very good Second which is the largest state in canada it is nunavut nunavut okay we can yes ma'am and the area what is the area of this place 2.093 million square kilometers ma'am yes 
Ma'am, Nunava, if you go to Nunava, you can see Aurora night sky. Okay. Okay. Thanks for telling. Welcome. Yes, Matthew Mugan, what do you want to say? That's huge again. Oh my God. Yes. So it is the largest state and proved. So now we'll see the languages of Canada. A multitude of languages are used in Canada. So according to the 2016 census there, English and French, French are the mother tongues. Yes. yes, yes. Are the mother tongues of 56% and 21% of Canadians respectively. So English is spoken more than French there. Okay. Yes, but the signs are bilingual because of this reason. Yes, yes, that's true. That's true. And in total, 86.2% of Canadians have working knowledge of English, while just 29.8% have a working knowledge of French. So and in I have both places. Knowledge of French. Oh, that's great, Prakar. That's great. Now let's see the Canada's government. So, Canada is a parliamentary democracy. Its system of government holds that the law is the supreme authority. There is no one above the law there. Okay, it's a parliamentary democracy. Now, who owns Canada? Who is the, you know, owner of Canada? The Canada is under whom? So, the land of Canada is solely owned by Queen Elizabeth II who is also the head of the state. Okay, so only 9.7% of the total land of Canada is privately owned, while the rest of the land is crown land, which means it is under Queen Elizabeth. Okay, the land is administered on behalf of the crown, that is the Queen Elizabeth, by various of the government no, of Canada. Video. So just 9.7 percent. Hello, am I audible properly? Now, yes, ma'am. Everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. All right, all right. I'm, yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry for the disturbance. Okay, thank you. All right. So out of the total land of Canada, only 9.7 percent of the land is owned privately, and the rest of the land is under Queen Elizabeth. Okay, so that is the crown land. Now, who is the Prime Minister of Canada? Justin Trudeau. Okay, you have to remember these names, okay? Justin, Justin Trudeau, Trudeau is the Prime Minister of Canada. What is the population of Canada? So, according to the recent census, the population is 38.27 million. Okay, that's really? huge, isn't it? Yes, as for the information, maybe there is an update in that, but as far as I know, it's 38.27 million. Even when it's the second more. largest. Sorry? I expected it to be a little more owing to its large size. Yeah, but then I guess more of the land is under, I guess, maybe cultivations or maybe in the constructions and all. Yeah, there are lots of gardens and greenery areas. Yes, so yes. Not a lot like of lakes. A lot of Canada lakes are there. Has millions of lakes. Yes, very true, Rohita. It has millions of lakes. Okay, huh? what is the yes, please? Man, who is the PM? Uh, Justin Trudeau. 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 Ma'am, the no. Canada is also oh, called by some people the lake countries, no? Yes, yes, because there are millions of lakes there in Canada. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Aran. All right, so what is the currency of Canada? It's the Canadian, Canadian dollar. dollar. Canadian oh, yes. dollar. So, if we see the one coin dollar, it is called the loonie. And the two coin dollar, okay, or the two dollar coin, whatever you call it, it's called the toonie. Isn't this funny? Yes. The one dollar yes, coin Looney. is called Looney and two dollar coin is called Toonie. Toonie Toonie. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Toonie Toonie. Okay, now the national sport. Yes, very good. Yes, you and I are going to They're so that. funny. Even India's yes. national sport. They're so funny. 
Yeah, who who is speaking? I couldn't hear you. Uh, so Darshan, who spoke right now? Who who? Prakhar. Prakhar. Yeah. The names are so funny. Yes, the names are so funny. Who is saying this? I can't uh, make it out. Sudarshan is saying this. Sudarshan is saying this. Okay, yes, Sudarshan, the names are really funny. Looney Tooney. Okay. So now, the national sports. The game commonly known as ice hockey is recognized as the national winter sport of Canada. So there are two national sports there. Winter sports and summer sports. So the winter national sport is ice hockey. And the summer national sport is lacrosse find the game commonly known as lacrosse is hereby recognized and declared to be the national summer sport of canada okay so there are two national games here oh. yeah, lacrosse is really fun sorry uh, it's a pretty fun but commonly unknown sport which one lacrosse La yes 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 okay now let's come to the climate of Canada. So as you all must be knowing, it's very cold there. Yeah, it's extremely it's mainly cold. mainly a so winter the... region, but the springs are yes. pretty beautiful. Yes, of course it has to be. The northern part of Canada is extremely cold. Okay, but because why is extremely cold? Because the summer lasts only for two months there. Okay, but almost all the Canadians live near the southern border and not near the northern border because it's extremely cold there. Fine, where the weather is warmer. So, where is the weather warmer in Canada? Towards uh, the southern warm. border. Yeah, southern border. Yes. So, the climate around Vancouver on Canada's west coast is rainy. Okay? So, northern is the extremely cold climate. Southern is a bit warmer. Now, on the west coast is what? It's rainy and temperate. So, there is less snowy there except for the mountains. Canada is largely inhabited. Yes, largely inhabited. Very good. Okay, now the animals time. So animals you will find in Canada. Which are the animals there? The grizzly bear, the cougar, then the moose. Okay, so Stricia, you are having a dollar, Canadian dollar. Is it a Canadian dollar, Stricia? Thank you. Mama is checking. Okay, okay. Ma'am, it's US dollar. Okay, all right. So you can show this as when we visit US, okay? Okay, ma'am. The gray wolf, giant Canadian goose, whales. Mammoth. I love whales. Who loves whales? Mm. Abir. Who loves, Abir loves whales and I also know Abir loves to you know, know about animals isn't it Abir <clears throat> a lot yes 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 okay so the next one is Marmot I love the then... moose and the, and the crane uh, who's speaking please tell me your name beta before speaking I can't it's make Sudarshan. it out Sudarshan yes thanks Prakhar yes Sudarshan I love the moose and the goose. Okay, the moose and the goose. All right. Then next one is wolverine. Everyone knows wolverine, isn't it? Yes, it's an everyone animal. is aware. Yes. It's actually the largest member of the weasel family. Oh, wow. Thanks for the update. And the American pika and bison. So there are these 10 animals you will find commonly in Canada. Yes. Mom, bison is North America's largest land animal. All right, okay. <laughs> Who said that? Why are you not telling me your names, Vachu? Tell me your names before speaking. Oh, I am not used to you. Yes, Rohita. All right, Rohita. Thank you. Okay, so Manbir, ma'am, will play a video for you, a beautiful video. Manbir, over to you. If anyone is uh, lagging, then I, uh, they can use the link also. Yes, of course. Full video. Yes, was it so airline industry in Canada? So Air Canada is the flag carrier and the largest airline of Canada. So which is the largest airline of Canada? Air Canada. Air Canada. Okay. 
why is it the largest airline on which basis by it by the number of passengers size. and the fleet size yes so what is the fleet size the number of planes, number of planes, planes they have yes the planes and aircraft it has so air canada is the largest airline there it is headquartered in the borough of st laurent in montreal quebec canada you have to remember this where is it headquartered in the borough of st laurent in montreal quebec canada i know one part of st laurent yeah what do you know about it i know the st laurent river oh wow awesome okay students so here we come to the end of this canada trip uh over to manbir okay so how was the tour ma'am it was superb okay so did you enjoy yes ma'am okay so do you remember the name of the ma'am ma'am can you uh, can i tell the pla uh, good places of canada yeah yes you can definitely tell okay ma'am yes cn tower niagara falls ontario science center ontario uh, after that prince Ed Edward Edward Island, Nunavut, Aurora Night Sky. Okay, very good. You have done so well. Thank great, you. Great. Okay, what about Himalayas? Have you searched about the places of Canada? No, ma'am. Haven't. Okay, that's fine. So Cecilia has done that. Okay, so did you like your tour to the Canada? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so do you remember the capital of Canada? Ma'am, I have five cents of Canada. Oh, okay. Okay, can so can I show you? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I can see this. Wow. So how did you get this? Ma'am, my before uh, before I born, my family went. Okay, okay, great. Okay, so now you two want to go Canada? Yes, ma'am. It okay. was a big dream. Yeah, you will definitely go one day. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, do you remember the uh, capital of Canada? What is the capital? Ottawa. Yes. Okay. What about Himan Vith? Do you remember the name of president? Anyone? Justin Trudeau. Yes, absolutely correct. Okay. So I hope you all have enjoyed your today's to to the Canada. So tomorrow we are going to visit France. Okay. Excited for it? Yes, okay. ma'am. So yes. we'll see you tomorrow at the same time, and we we'll visit France. So bye, everyone. Have a good day. Bye, ma'am. You don't any ta. You don't have any task. Yeah, sure. So you have to search about some facts of France. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, Would you do so, Imanvit? You are on mute, Imanvit. Ma'am, you have to search about some facts of France. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Okay. okay so that was all about it today's tour. So we'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Bye, everyone. Have a good day. Bye, ma'am. Same to you. Thank you.